We're back at 916 now and before the break you just heard us talking to CDOT about clearing parts of I-70 so they can reopen that stretch from Golden to Silverthorne and all morning long we have been talking to people uh, talking about people who are stuck on the interstate because of this. Yes, it's been rough. So Brenda Jorup is on the phone right now and Brenda you've been stuck for hours now, right? That's right. We uh, left Vail at 3.30 yesterday and we're still on the bus. So what what is this last 12 hours or so been like for you? What have you been doing to stay warm? Well, um, this is a, a wonderful uh, bus that 60 ladies take every Wednesday. And for the last few uh, 12 hours or so, we've pretty much stayed quiet and in our seats. Um, I think some of us got a maybe an hour or two of sleep last night, although it's not terribly comfortable. And um, we had no water and we were running out of toilet paper. And uh, we have a lot of questions. We're hoping that somebody will tell us when we'll start moving again and when we have an opportunity to get home. And Brenda, tell us a little bit about the situation. How many people are on the bus with you right now and where were y'all headed? We are 60 women that are headed back to Denver where we park our cars and then drive home from there. We take this bus on Wednesdays to go skiing, usually to Vail. Um, and we're vibrant, athletic women who um, enjoy being together, but this is the first time in 20 years that I've been on the bus that we've had this kind of a delay. And we're seeing some of the pictures of the backup even beyond your bus. And I can't imagine the situation. So, of course, you're waiting for answers about when you might be moving. How have you been able to keep warm? Um, the bus driver was able to keep the engine running the whole time. We wow. just had a mechanic come on and make sure that it didn't affect us if we were to proceed forward at some point. And he says the engine is okay. We did burn out the transmission earlier um, last night, and um, they were able to let the engine cool. We traded drivers because they exceeded their time driving and um, were able to continue on. So it's been, um, it's been multiple stops from Vail to where we are now, just outside of Central City. And um, we have been here at this particular stop since midnight last night. Now, Brenda, I, I want to ask, as you said, you're waiting to get some answers. Is anybody in yes. communication with the bus at this time? How are you getting any kind of information? Well, the, the bus driver talks to um, his um, dispatch, and we all have cell phones and trying to reach out. People have reached out to the governor. People have reached out to um, uh, CDOT. Um, we are not really getting any clear answers. And that's our that's our major concern. And I want you to know we're not calling. I mean, we're not talking to you because we want to complain. We're talking to you because we're not alone. This this highway is packed with cars and semis and other buses. Um, it's it's an urgent kind of situation. We have a few medical um, concerns on the bus, even though we're healthy women for the most part. Um, but we ran out of water and we we have no more food. Well, I know there's a lot of concerned families, too. Brenda, your husband's the one that reached out to us and let us know that this situation was happening in the first place. And uh, we're praying for y'all. We wish you well. And um, the second we can give you more information, we'll be happy to do that. Well, we would appreciate um, information. You have my number. Um, I will relay it to the ladies. We try to take turns reassuring each other that here's what we heard, here's what's happening. And we thank you for your well wishes, and um, we're praying, and we hope this will end soon. Yeah, Brenda, thank you so much again. Best of luck. I really hope things start moving quickly. You know, it's a really tough situation because this is spring break time, right? We knew that the high country is going to be really, really crowded. A lot of people are going to be traveling on I-70. And then on top of it, all of the hotels are booked up because of spring break. So it's not like a lot of folks could go to a hotel nearby because yeah. there's no rooms available. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, well, we thank Brenda for her time because she's definitely not alone in that situation, as you can see with that big backup.